Making the state tournament is impressive, but to do it with two of your starters being injured with ACL tears is almost unheard of. Well, the Monaga girls basketball team did exactly that last Friday, and now sports reporter Anthony Scott explains why the Braves are a dangerous team heading down to state. They can expect a small team who's ready to fight. That's one way to describe the Monaga girls basketball team as they have fought through injuries and overcome illnesses on their way to a 29-1 record and a Section 5A title. We came over a lot of adversity this year, so it was really cool to just pull it off and finish our goal that we had in the beginning of the year. Now the Braves are headed to the state tournament with one goal in mind. We're going down to win it. I mean, uh, we are, we're, that's our number one goal, um, but obviously um, definitely want to improve on last year's finish for sure and get, get one, get one um, to start with and then hopefully build on that. And Coach couldn't be happier with how the team is playing going into their biggest game of the year. We're playing our best basketball right now. I think our, our defense has really carried us through the last throughout playoffs and throughout the end of the year and, and our offense is starting to click and, and we're starting to gel offensively and I think, I think we're playing our best basketball this year right now. Combine that with their tough schedule and their experience from last year's state tournament and you have a Monaga team that will be tough to beat. We've had a ton of huge road games. We're going to Belgrade, went to Pine River, went to, to um, Hopkins, went to uh, West Central, to Moorhead. All those those tough road games have really helped us all the way through. It is very different. Um, all the fans of not even just your, t your team, but the other team, it's a big atmosphere. And I think last year we were a little shocked at how many people showed up and how big of an arena it was. This year will definitely be different. The Braves will look to overcome their injuries once again when they take on Bold High School tomorrow at 5 p.m. in the first round of the state tournament. Reporting from Monaga, Anthony Scott, Lakeland News. We'll have those highlights for you tomorrow. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.